Hey guys, Sam if you're here, I'm going to read Midnight Sun from Edward's point of view, which is Twilight from his point of view. No copyright infringement intended. I get nothing from this. I'm not paid. Blah, 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 blah. This all belongs to Stephanie Myers. Let's get started. First sight. This was the time of day when I most wished I were able to sleep. High school. Or it's purgatory the right word. If there was any way to atone for my sins, this ought to count towards a tally in some measure. The tedium was not something I grew used to. Every day it seemed more impossibly monotonous than the last. Perhaps this could even be considered my form of sleep. If sleep was defined as an intern state between active periods, I stare at the cracks running through the plaster in the far corner of the cafeteria, imagining patterns into them, but that were not there. One, it was one way to tune out the voices of the babbling, like gush of river inside of my head. Several hundreds of these voices I ignored out of boredom. When it came to the human mind, I've heard it all before and then some. Today, all the thoughts were consumed with trivial drama of the new addition to the small student body. It took little to work them up. I'd seen the new face appear in thoughts at the thought from every angle. Just an ordinary human girl. The excitement over her arrival was tiresome, predictable. And it had the same reaction as one would get from flashing a shiny object in front of a group of toddlers. Half the sheep, like males, were already imagining themselves and fascinated with her. <clears throat> fascinated with her. Just because she was something new to look at, I tried hard to tune them out. Only four voices did I black out of curiosity rather than distaste. My family, my two brothers and two sisters. Who were so used to the lack of privacy in my presence that it would rarely work that they were really worried about it. I gave them what I could and tried not to listen if I could help it. Try as I may, I still knew. Rosalie was thinking as usual about herself, her mind was a stagnant pool with few surprises. She got sight of a profile and reflection off of someone's glasses and was mulling over her own perfection. No one else's hair was close to his true gold no one else shape was quite as perfect as an hourglass no one else face was such flawless and symmetrical oval she didn't compare herself to the humans here just the i'm gonna butcher this word J J i'm gonna spell it j-u-x-t-a Position Jack, Jack, I cannot pronounce this. P O S T I O N would be laughable, absurd. She thought, like all the others, none of us thought of them as their equal. Emma was usually carefree, and his expression was comfortable with frustration. Even now, he ran his enormous hand through his ebony brown curls, twisting them in the, his hair in a fist. Still fuming over a wrestling match he lost with Jasper during the night. It would take all of his limited patience to make it to the end of the school day. To orchestrate the rematch, hearing Emmett's thoughts never felt intrusive because he never thought he, but of one thing would not say aloud or put into action. Perhaps he only felt guilty. Perhaps I only felt guilty reading others' minds because I knew exactly things inside that they wouldn't want me to know. If Rosalie's mind was a stagnant pool, then Emirates was a lake. There was no shadow, just shadows, just clear glass. And Jasper was suffering. I suppressed a sigh. Edward, Alice called my name in her head and had my attention at once. It was the same as if having my name called aloud. I was glad given my name had not fallen out of style for the past few decades. Had fallen out of style in the past, past few decades. It had been annoying in the past. Any time someone thought of Edward, my head would automatically turn. My head didn't turn now. Alice and I were good at private conversations. It was rare any of us caught us. I kept my eyes lined on the plaster. How is he holding up? She asked me. I frowned. A smile changed in the side of my mouth. Nothing that would tip the others off. I could easily frown out of boredom. 
Jasper had still had been still too long. He hasn't. He wasn't performing human tricks the way we all must. And I must stop there since this is getting too long. I'm gonna I'm gonna part two. Talk to y'all later. Send movie out.